You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. All right, guys, it's Thursday, that's right. So it's like we're our third day in the mix, I guess. And at that point, we're gonna head over and check out what the Titan Medical Center booth's gonna look like. All right, we are in the Uber and we are on the way to the convention center. All right, we are here at Las Vegas Convention Center for the 60th anniversary Olympia. We're gonna go in, we're gonna go check the booth out. We're seeing everything set up so far. This is the best, biggest booth we've ever had before. Very happy the way it turned out so far. It's really cool. So Super hopefully cool. we can get everybody man this booth, do it correctly, and we're gonna have one hell of a show. I think we finally got everything set up. I think we're set for tomorrow to a degree. Definitely had some um, some different things come up that I guess we just got to deal with, right? We will see you Friday and Saturday here at Las Vegas Convention Center for the 60th anniversary of Olympia. Let's go. Riding away right now, right? We're going back to the hotel. We've been here for I don't know how many hours. Definitely, yeah. definitely not expect to be here this long, but it is what it is. What's up guys? We are here Friday. It is the 60th anniversary of Olympia and Titan Medical Center is in here. Titan takeover is in full effect. I'm so excited about this. I got my family with me. Usually it's me and Cerise, but now I got my awesome son with me and getting to share some of these moments with him and getting him to show him what this is all about. You know, this is the, the Super Bowl of bodybuilding, the Super Bowl of fitness, and a lot of people are gonna be here this weekend that I wanna introduce Peter to. Obviously, my good friend at Titan, Michael Hearn will be here Friday and Saturday. I've got a ton of different Titanettes that are helping us out because our team got stuck in Florida because of the hurricane. It's gonna be an awesome time. We're it's been excited. a lot of hard work to get here, but we're yeah. here. It's been a lot of hard work and a lot of adversity, but you know what? We thrive in those moments. So we're gonna show you guys what this is all about. And when you get to see the full documentary, you'll get to see some of those trials and tribulations and you'll get to see the final result of what happened. Hi guys, welcome to Olympia 2024. We're here at the Titan Medical Center booth. Come check us out, let's go. Titan shirts, Titan bags all over the place. I'm loving it. People coming up and saying thank you. We really appreciate what you do. That means a lot to us for sure. So we're just gonna keep enjoying and keep rocking in here. So stay tuned. Hey, yo, bring it up, man. Stop looking soft, stop looking weak, stop looking sloppy. You already know with the tatties. Let's go. So I'm just sitting here with Michael Beach. If you guys don't know, you guys should watch some TV or some movies because he's in a ton of stuff that you guys would know for sure. All right. <laughs> I've been around long enough to be in the right? stuff. Yeah. Right? He's, he's been around long enough and he's done a lot of great things. So, you know, me, I'm just talking to him and chopping up with him because he's just a great dude all the way around. Like I said, super cool to be here. Olympia, one thing. And super proud and honored to have Michael Beach at our booth. So thank you, Michael. I really appreciate it. I'm glad to be here. You guys are going to see more in the future. And Check this guy out. You guys can see him almost every day on some movie or TV show. So I'm sure if you've seen like The Perfect Couple on Netflix, it's like, check out Michael, he'll be on there. You'll be like, oh my God, there he is. <laughs> so we'll see you guys later. We got a lot more coming. So we'll talk to you later. Later. We got the Titan <laughs> Medical crew all together. Beautiful people around us. We're enjoying the day. You missed it if you weren't here. And just some of the girls that we have here, 
which are looking phenomenal. Some are in tight bikinis, some are in leggings, sports balls. It's just looking good all the way around. The Titan family is in full effect here. What do you think about the, the I guess you would say, the first day of the expo? Super success. Very I think it was pretty good. I think Saturday is going to be even better. Yep. I mean, but came out here, rocked it. The booth went rocking all morning. And when you came, it was, like I said, just stepped up to a whole different notch. So very appreciative of that. Plus, I think have the man over here. Oh, <laughs> Michael. Yeah. Everybody Come wanted on. to see me. It, it was big. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Everyone, who cares about Mike? That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I love that shirt. I love it. Too. I love you know, that it, shirt. It, was, it was super cool to, to be here around these awesome individuals, right? And then have all our supporters out here coming by the booth, taking pictures with us, showing us more support around here. And we had a good crew. Like we didn't even have our official team. You usually like to bring your official team with me because they know the Titan standard. They know how we work, they know how the events work. So today we had a whole bunch of new people, which new it team members out. now, listen, and it no, worked listen, out. Listen, listen, we made them part of our team. Yes, And yes. that's what really counts, right? Yes. Yes, we took them and it was a super success today. So I'm waiting for tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be even better. I guarantee it. I'm ready. I can't wait. So I hope you guys are excited because I'm super oh, excited. Yeah. Outside of the business and stuff, I thought one of the coolest things is it's almost 2025. We're coming up on 2025. Yes. And I got to run in to some old school guys. Yeah. Um, and, and you got to see them. And, and yeah. Ed was, this is the first time you got to meet first Ed. First time I met Ed and Nick. Nick Best. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the reason I want to say that is because I think social media, if used correctly, can be some of the most amazing thing. Yeah, I agree. Right? Yeah, I agree, man. Because I talk to them a lot on social media. Yeah. And they help me a lot, so much like you do. And so to, to have that happen in person now is awesome. Awesome. I think you guys cool. could use social media in a cool way. And I know today was a business aspect of it and it was good and stuff, but if you got the energy, I think for me, it's it's the only thing that keeps me going, but the energy around the booth and, and, and seeing friends and uh, the connection we make, I think is tenfold. Yes, business is great, but it was like those moments and the connections that we get to do is unreal. I think that's the biggest yeah. thing. We don't get to see all these, well, I don't get to see all these people except for one time maybe a year. Yeah, we're you know? in the office. I'm right? lucky enough to get to see Mike maybe a couple times a year, if I'm lucky, right? You create this booth that all these people came over to today. I know, I'm super humble to And meet that. you and, and, and see humble. you guys. Super cool. Super, super cool. And they hung out. I, yeah. I, I know. Yeah, they still and, and, and that was, yeah. that was just the most well I mean, we part. I <laughs> 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 So yeah, so super excited. We're gonna see more people tomorrow and uh, just have more of a great time. So I'm super excited. Let's go eat. I know we're all hungry. I know Mike wants to eat. <laughs> You're watching Titan Medical Center Production. What's up, guys? We are here at the Cuban Club, Tampa, Florida, for the 13th Ugly Men Zombie Apocalypse Party. And you know my team has always got to roll tight. And I've got all the All-Stars here from our awesome Titan Heads to all my warriors that came out here, too, and the Furies. Plus, you got Spider-Woman, Spider-Man, Poison Ivy. I've got this beautiful Playboy Playmate and our awesome Titan Head nurses here that are just looking amazing. Big shout out to everybody out here. You know it's gonna be a hell of a time out here. So I hope you guys are out here, check out our costumes, and I hope you guys are ready to rock it for a great event tonight. Titan Medical Center stage sponsor and all my people here. Let's celebrate, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Time to have some fun.
wearing right now. It's a Romy Rome gynecologist. I love that jacket, Jerome. We love it. How you loving it? I love it. We back from Vegas, baby. Oh, yeah. Tight medical, baby. We back safely. Back from Olympia last weekend. You love our Romy Rome. That's our dude right there. Family, family, family. All day, every day. We're out here having a great time. Family's out here. We're enjoying. We hope you guys are enjoying this as well. Follow along. We got more to go. Let's go. Let's go. Medical Center is the stage sponsor. We're walking through here. Look at all the awesome costumes, all the beautiful people that are out here. This place is rocking, and I'm talking about rocking. All right, guys, we are ending down the night here at the 13 Ugly Men Zombie Apocalypse 2024 party, Titan Medical Center. It's a stage sponsor official. Me and my beautiful wife here, Miss Spider Woman herself. I am Spider Woman. This is Spider Man. He really killed this costume tonight, just saying. <laughs> you know, she gives me compliments, but man, her was so sexy and so beautiful. She filled it complete. You know, I think it just complimented each other. We always do this. We've been doing this ever since we've been together. Just, you know, 17 years. You know, and you know, we used to dress up two or three times a year, and now it's only one time a year. Now we we're old, but we are still looking sexy due to our Titan therapies. But you know what? We love doing it too. It keeps us young at heart. And our Titan medical centers keep us young all the way around. So it's just a killer combination, but it was a great night for a great cause for charity and a whole bunch of great people that I normally don't get to see all the time. And that was awesome too. Making more memories, enjoying our time, de-stressing a little bit, I think. There was a lot of people that were affected by a lot of different things. And you know what, they just came out to have a good time tonight. And that's what happened. So we're gonna sign off. We enjoyed it thoroughly and I hope you guys did too. Because, man, it was one hell of an event. We'll see you guys next time. See you next year. I understand there's some something that you have that's less than $100 that you can get. Um, and it helps burn body fat. And a, a lecture of stuff. Talk to me. Sure. If you want to do the most inexpensive route with Type Medical Center, and you want weight loss, you want a more better mental clarity and a little bit of an euphoric feeling, you're gonna to wanna to go with our ECA Stack Plus. Real ephedrine HCL, caffeine, aspirin, B12, and chromium. With those people out there that are allergic to aspirin, don't worry, we can take that out and make it custom for you so you guys can get all the benefits of it. Great energy, weight loss, and euphoric feeling, feeling all good, ready to rock and roll, no more other things you'll need. This is definitely the way to go and the most inexpensive route, I think, for weight loss. What's up, guys? If you're competitive like I am and you want that performance enhancer, you got to try out some of Titan Medical Center's therapies. I'm going to tell you a few of my favorites. The first one is my complete favorite is Hercules Potion. Hercules Potion gives you that competitive edge that you need when you're walking to the gym. A lot of you are probably like myself, walking to the gym sometimes, you don't feel as secure as you want to. With Hercules Potion, you walk up in there with your chest up, ready to rock and roll. You get that huge pump. 
you put it exactly whatever body parts are working. So you can put it right at your bicep, tricep. You get a ridiculous pump. Everybody be watching the gym. Give you that confidence, make you feel better than good and better than most. Next one of my favorites, the ECA Stack Plus. That's gonna get you going. That gives you that energy. It's also gonna help you with some of that body fat that you wanna lose. This is gonna help you sweat it out, release all them toxins, and get that extra push on that cardio that you've been looking for. With Hercules Potion, ECA Stack, that's gonna get you shredded. Wheat for the summer. One of my favorite therapies is the ab cream. A lot of people ask me about this all the time. What is it? How does it work? How do you do it? I'm gonna show you right now. So I suggest before you go to the gym, what you do is you're gonna take it out of the box, and it's awesome. When you get this at your house, you get your name on it, you can bring it wherever you go. Some people don't feel comfortable if they don't have that prescribed from the doctor. At Titan Medical Center, you get this from licensed physicians. And then you just rub it right on. And then right when you start working out and start sweating, it literally starts shedding off the fat. You want to go to the beach this summer and look super good? You got to get the ab cream. It's going to build your confidence and make you look supreme better than everybody else. That's what you want, isn't it? I know that's what I want. Get on the Titan Therapies. Don't start yesterday. Start now. Not now, but right now. What's up, guys? This is Big Drew with Titan Medical. And if it don't make muscle, it don't make sense. Guys, have you heard of Ozempic face or Ozempic butt? This is a really common term that's going around right now. And it's trending. It's really, really crazy. So I want to set you guys up for success. So if you guys are using products of semi-glutide or tears epitide, you guys know you guys are going to lose weight quick, right? Well, let's prepare yourself. One, let's eat more protein. Two, we want to eat a little bit of fiber in there and make sure we have it pushing through. Three, we want to make sure we're getting some weightlifting in, not just cardiovascular activity. A lot of people focus just on cardiovascular activity to lose weight, but we want to make sure that we fill out that loose skin that might be coming. So start lifting weights, start doing this commonly more than your cardiovascular exercising. This will benefit you in the long run. And I promise you, you will not be caught up with the Ozempic butt and the Ozempic face. If you're doing the right things, if you're losing too much weight too quick, this could be unhealthy and it might not look aesthetically pleasing where you want to go. So just take these tips, run with them, and you'll have success with semi-glutide, tears up programs, and losing weight, feeling great, and tighten weight. What's up, guys? I'm John, and here's my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Yes, that's right. Me and my beautiful wife over here are bringing you guys new tips, tricks, and things to excite, ignite, and take your relationship to a whole new healthy level. And we've got some of these tricks from being in a relationship on our marriage for 16 years, having a kid, you know, doing all that. Plus, we've had different friends around us that have went through all kinds of crazy stuff. And they always come to us. For and some, are, some are married, some are single, some are divorced. So we got all that great information too. And all gathered, like we're like just this mega AI machine for relationship advice <laughs> coming AI? towards you guys. Like chat GPT, mm, let's go to Cupid's Corner. Doot, doot, doot. They're going to give you all the insight that you guys need. I so, like you know, every, every, uh, every Sunday we're bringing you guys this great information. So if you guys don't know, tune in and make sure you guys are going to our YouTube too as well and subscribing there so you guys can see all of these episodes in their full entirety. And, uh, you know, ABC on Sundays, 11 a.m.? But let's get into it. Here we are. Here we 11 go. 11 a.m. on a Sunday. So, uh, <laughs> so basically, you know, this week we want to talk about communication. And we talk about communication every single episode, mm -hmm. right? But there's different form of communication. And if you're communicating, are you communicating? And are they receiving the information that you are communicating? I told John, listen, that 
you people like to hear real life things, right? You, it's great when we tell you guys like, oh, do this and do that and go do this and do that and make sure you take to dinners and make time for yourself and, you know, go lock yourself in the room with each other while, you know, you lock the dogs up or whatever we decide to say, right? However, this is like a real life scenario because me and John are real people at the end of the day. I know we look like, you know, these, everything's so perfect in our Titan life. However, we are also real, okay? And we have real life things that happen to us every single day, just like you guys. So um, I told John the other day, you know, when we had this situation happen, after the situation, I was like, listen, we need to mention this on Cupid's Corner because we always talk about communication, but I don't believe could be wrong because we have a lot of episodes, but I don't believe that we actually have given you guys an example like, hey, this is what happened. This is what took place. So I'll tell you guys what happened because I love telling stories. Anyways, so it's, um, I believe, Friday night. This is just this past Friday night. And, you know, we're, uh, you know, doing our thing and, you know, trying to relax and chill out because it's been like the longest two weeks of our life between, obviously, I'm sure you guys understand the hurricane. Um, and, you know, we had to go to Olympia in Las Vegas and try to manage everything from out there and, you know, so forth. But I think we're both under like an incredible amount of stress, right? And obviously we're together all the time. So we try not to bite each other's faces off and we try to understand each other. So we were in the room and I forget what it was that I was talking to him about specifically. But he was like, you know, and, and it's probably just because I was, I've been doing this, you know, I, I talk a million miles a minute and sometimes he gets in the crossfires of like when I'm talking to staff. And then I got to talk to John for like five minutes, right? And it's like almost like I have to like, it's literally like an on and off switch. And I have to take the switch and go off and then talk to John and then go back on and then talk to the staff and be like, Rawr! you know, so it's a real thing. I uh, Trust me. So anyways, um, sometimes it's hard for me to turn the switch off and so forth. So I got to come to that realization too. Anyways, he had told me, he's like, hey, listen, He's like, you know, this is kind of, it would forget what it was again, but he said, this is kind of what I'm talking about, you know, that you're kind of disregarding what I'm saying. I'll give you, I'll tell you exactly you what remember? it was. remember? Yeah, she was telling me like, all what right, well, what time us? do you want to go to dinner? And like, what do you want, what time do you want to arrive here? And like, wait. Oh, to get your dad like some help and right? stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, well, this is what I want to do. I do it like this. And then she'll come back and she'll, she'll say it totally different. Like, totally different. I'm like. Wait, hold on. Didn't I just tell you what it was? Didn't I do? just tell you what I want to do? So why are you even asking me about <laughs> what I want when you just divert to back what, what you're going to default to? And I'm like, what, what, what is what is this? Like, if I'm it, if you ask me for something or hey, listen, what do you want to do here? And I tell you what I want to do, and then it comes back. You know, you're firing back like, oh, why would we do it like this? We're just going. I'm like, well, why even ask me? Right. But what he didn't understand, which I had to explain, he didn't understand is that I have like 50 variables that I have to put together where everybody's schedule makes sense, right? Because I got to do his schedule. I got to do his dad's schedule. I got to do Peter's schedule. I got to figure out who's picking up, who dropping off, who taking people here and there, whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, if you want to do this, this won't make sense because of this, right? So anyways, going back to the communication portion of this, is that he explained to me, right? Cause he, maybe this has been building up for, I don't know how long, but he, he, tell, <laughs> he tells me, hey, like this is annoying me. Can you please stop doing this? And then, you know, listen, in any other situation, the, re the, the responding party could have been like, what do you mean? Like, uh, and just flip out, right? I mean, you, you could react that way. And I have definitely reacted that way on many occasions. It has taken me roughly a decade to get to here. Um, so, you know, it's taken a lot of practice, patience, understanding. You might have to bite your tongue. You know, like there's things that you might, you might need to process what your partner is saying for two seconds before you just react. Cause I do react off emotion. It's not good, but I do react off emotion. So I, I had a second and I'm like, okay, let me not, let me not react. And then I'm like, okay. So I think I walked away for like two seconds and then I came back because I'm not going away for very long. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, so listen, I'm like, I'm trying to make everybody happy. This is what's happening. I explained it to him. And then him on his side, he could have still been in like his angry mode or he wasn't really angry, but frustrated mode and just came back at me and fired back. Right. But he didn't, he was like, oh, okay. I understand. Like, you know, and here we are like 
understanding each other. We're talking to each other. We're communicating with each other. We're telling each other if something frustrates us. We're coming up with a solution if there is a problem or a frustration. And this is how you communicate. It's such a great example. I think it's a little bit more than communicating, though. Because communicating is them understanding you, and then after that is how you handle the reaction of that, right? Or what you do react towards. And then at that point, communicating is good. Now you guys are understanding, which is great. And then at that point, being able to resolve is a whole different thing. Yeah, true. It, it's kind of like you know, I mean, at that point, like sometimes you know, you find the middle of the you know of the the argument, and you kind of you know agree on that. Or it might go the other way or the other. I, I guess like you know, I might agree with her and just like you know, let's do it like that, or vice versa. So, I think it takes a little bit more than just communicating to really have that deep communication yeah. from resolution. Because right. Because you have to you have to add on the, the, these these parts. They resolution just There's doesn't levels. come. It, yeah. Communicating about I hate your guts. I hate you. And then you, you do don't this. have I a resolution. Yeah. Well, I hate when you do this. Uh, you know, what do you want me to do? And then you're like, all right. And then I don't know. I guess I'm just like that. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, but, you know, the resolution, like, I mean, like, listen, like, I, I get a lot of people where they're telling me, oh, my partner snores. I've heard that quite a bit lately. All you have to do partner is put a pillow snores. over their face. What do I do? I don't want to leave the room. I don't want to leave them. I really love them, but I don't want to leave them. I'm like, well, you got to find some sort of resolution. You know, there's all types of different things out there. Maybe they need to lose weight. Maybe they need a sleep apnea machine. Maybe they have, like, those things. I guess you put in your throat, your nose, whatever. And that's just an example, right? Like, if there's a, a problem in the relationship, Especially if it's something that's really little, but something really little can just keep nagging at you, right? Picking and picking and picking, and then you finally blow up, and then it might lead down another path of what you the guys, rabbit hole. Of you guys didn't want to argue about <laughs> or didn't want to think about, and at that point, that that's the argument now on the table. So, you know, it's just it's uh, it's it's key to communicate and understand where your partner is coming from, and and take a moment, right? And even if it does piss you off or make you very emotionally <laughs> mad, um, at that point, take a breather and then come back to the conversation. Well, you're a little bit more level-headed. You're not running off emotion. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to do it. So, but that's just but our way it. of communicating, right? We did it. We can do it, and so can you. See? So whether you're in a relationship right now, you know, you guys can always enhance that communication. Or if you're not in a relationship, you know what? For the next one, make sure you are the communicator that you want to be. And you find the, the, the receiver that you want to communicate to. So that is it for our show. Unfortunately, we don't have more time. We break down some more things for you. But this gives you some... What do you mean? Some, we some, always some, have time. You can tune in next Sunday at 11 a.m. That's right. Eastern Standard Time. That's right. Here on ABC. And we'll be back to give you such yep. great information. And remember, if you can't watch it live, DVR it or go over to YouTube. Type in Titan Medical Center and watch all our great episodes. We appreciate all you guys. We love you guys. And we'll be back with another Cupid's Corner next week, ABC 11 a.m. Like I said, you can catch us anytime on any social media platform. Just type in Titan Medical Center. You'll see me and Sharice there. We'll see you guys later. See ya.